Miami, though. Um, I think a bit of a punt, this one, uh, for me, uh, mainly because the location. And I yeah. think for me, when I look, when when I looked at, or when I actually looked at when where the Homestead Speedway was, and it's forty five miles away from the actual Miami airport, and I'm thinking we're only there for one race. It's not like we're there for two races. And I'm like, in terms of yeah. getting people to Miami, and you know, not everyone turns up for practice and qualifying in the morning. So effectively, you're paying whatever the ticket price is for a forty five minute race, and you've got to travel all that way to Miami for forty five minutes. I just didn't. For me, as a when I put my brain fan hat on, I was like, it's not worth it. Um, why would I do that? So, uh, I think it's great that we are in Miami, and I think it's a nice location. It's a great city to to say it's on our calendar. But I'm scared that you know we'll have empty grandstands because people might think like me and think, oh, why why, why would I do that? I think it makes sense. Go on. I'm going to be completely honest. I think Portland. The moment Portland came on the calendar, I think a lot of us looked at each other and thinking, what? This is a bit different. And obviously that the races were... Fans loved it, actually, and it was, and it was a really good turnout. There's a lot of IndyCar fans there. So there's double, the double header. Yeah. Employees will probably work quite well. But I think it's... Formula E, for me, needs a permanent American home. Yeah. You know, the same way, obviously, in Germany, you've got Berlin. You know, in China, we can see Shanghai potentially coming up a permanent home. Um, I think America, given how big EV vehicles are in America and how, you know, America is very much on a kind of motorsport boom in general. I think having a permanent home makes, whether this will be permanent or not, I don't know. But I think to have somewhere like Miami where we know with F1, you know, the 2024 Miami Grand Prix or, you know, record attendance. Yeah. So motorsport in, in Miami is obviously, you know, not doing badly. It's doing yeah. well. I also think the venue as well is quite a clever pick because... You know, it's the fact we will we'll be using the road course effectively. Yes. So that will be also the circuit that's on the infield. And I'm pretty sure based on the layout, it's an effect for like half the speedway. Yeah. I think that would be quite cool because that will, especially in qualifying, really showcase the Gen 3.5 technology. And it, mo most importantly, the acceleration, the top yeah. speed. Which we don't get to see too much with the current circuits we have. So I'm kind of in favour of it. Yes, it's going to be difficult to get to potentially. But I think... A double header I would like to have seen. Yep. I think that would have made a bit more sense, but it, it's one of those where you know NASCAR have been there loads, IndyCar yeah. used to go there loads. So and they were, you know, so it, it's a circuit which fans will know well out there. And the good thing I think is if it's safe, let's say for example, and this is the big reason why I think FE needs a permanent American home. Yep. Where fans will then recognise a venue or see a venue and instantly think of Formula E. Yeah. You know, when Formula E's in town and stuff, whereas I don't think we've ever really had that. Maybe yeah. New York a little bit, not quite so much. So I, th I think it will make sense. Whether it, whether the fans get there, I think it's the big thing. I think, to be honest, it's... You know, I think people will make the effort. I think Formula E is big enough in America yep. that it will do well. I hope so too. Honestly, I do, because I, I fully agree with you. We need to find a permanent home in America. Where that yeah. is, I don't know. And it's got all the hallmarks to be you know, does, if you does. look if, look if you look at the track right if it's an infield track so it's you know there's there's a chance I, it could be a peloton star race depending but we don't know how the gen 3 evo car is going to work yet and, and the thing as well though that we should point out is actually the homestead miami speed it's going to be one of the only permanent circuits on the calendar because obviously all of a sudden after having a massive boom of permanent tracks this year season is less yeah. than 25 percent on the calendar it's permanent circuit so actually yeah. it's going to then offer something really different because we're not going to see these kind of tracks as often, you know, Formula is that it, the fans have been listened to and the sport is going back to street circuits more or, you know, semi-purpose built venues. So I think from that point of view, it's going to make then Miami even more attractive because where there's not going to be many normal circuits, yeah. it's going to offer them a, a, a bigger and potentially different spectacle. 100%. Um, let's talk about Deria very quickly because obviously Deria new location, right? Obviously you were in. Sorry about the hat. Yep, uh, and and your little thing at the back as well. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, that perfect. One. That, that, that one. was from yeah, the prince out there. Yeah, Lo lovely jubbly. But was there any rumblings that? Because I thought, and I and a lot of the drivers say that's the best one of the best Formula E racetracks. It, the problem was you couldn't get any fans to it. Was there any rumbling when you were there in Saudi Arabia that this was the last season at that track? 
So I'll be honest, this is the first I've heard the fact that we're going to a new venue. Um, and the thing is, that it does make sense because the circuit itself, you're right, over for qualifying, drivers absolutely love it. However, the issue is, particularly since the introduction of Gen 3, you'd imagine it'll be the same for Gen 3.5 given it's the same aero package. The, the venue, it just doesn't give good racing, unfortunately. Overtaking is you know, too difficult when a lot of times race attempts for overtakes there's just contact so you know because you look at the season and the first three rounds yeah. mexico and then the two races in, in Diri earlier this year they, they weren't good you know, if we're being completely honest the thing is that the thing with the fan argument is so there was the thing amazing of diria there was a huge concert afterwards after both yeah. races and you would honestly think you wouldn't even realize that formerly had been there yeah. You could think it was just a normal concert because it was that busy. It was one of the busiest concert venues I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So I think, so there's definitely interest there quite clearly. Oh, 100%. It would, it, it would make sense that given that I doubt Diria gets a lot of motorsport. But I think if we can get a new venue that's in, obviously, which we are getting, yeah. which will offer better racing, then that's a win win because it keeps the sport in Diria. It is actually a really interesting part of the world as well. A lot of heritage around there. And the fans clearly like it. So. The big thing is offering better racing because I don't think we can have, and this is what I think is really smart with having Sao Paulo as a season opener, is that we know Sao Paulo will be a good race. Yeah. Been there twice and both years. It's been good. It's been up there for race of the season. You know, for me, Sao Paulo this year is probably still the race of the year. And last year was me narrowly beaten by Cape Town. So even if it's not necessarily a good race, it formally has that buffer of knowing, okay, at least the season opener is going to be exciting and obviously Dira we can then take a bit more of a gamble and just hope that the venue does work so and the thing with Formula E is like we like taking gambles if it works fantastic if it doesn't work then we've not lost anything because Dira doesn't well the UNESCO World Heritage Site anyway that we yeah. used didn't offer the best racing for the current cars we've got 